guys, good morning. We are at Fashion Island for the Pac Sun and Princess Polly event. By we, I mean her. And we just got ice cream. And the guy said that the wrapper is edible. Good. I just mm. got vanilla. But my cookie's crazy. Dude, the ice cream is actually fire. Pretty good. Mm, you can yeah. taste them. The quality. How's the cookie? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. They are probably pink. Hello everyone. We just finished at the Paxson and Princess Polly event. It was pretty short, but the drive here was so long. But we did get matching bracelets or permanent bracelets. I got a gold one. And I got a silver. And she got a silver one because she's a silver girly. And we got our aura reading. Yes, we did. It looks, which looks very similar. I know. Very similar. Very similar. And then we had ice cream, we had boba, and yeah, that was about it. How was your first event? It was fun. Yeah. And now we're going to go get Jollibee. Yes. Because we've been craving it, so. <laughs> we'll see you guys at Jollibee. excited for everything that I got today. Let's start off with Sephora. I'm going on a trip really really soon and I needed to stock up on a couple of things and I also just like wanted to try a couple of items. So the first thing that I'm restocking is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I actually ran out or I finished my bottle and I wanted to restock because it made my skin or it made my makeup look seamless. And then the last two items that I got are from One Size Beauty. I got two of his shades. One is the shade Ultra Pink, which is like a baby pink powder. And I saw him use this under his eye and it was perfect. And then I also got the shade Sweet Honey, which is a tan shade. And this is what he used for all over his face. So I'm going to try to use this under my eye and this one all over the face. I picked one item from Lululemon and it is this mini skirt for tennis or golfing. And I have been eyeing this literally for like weeks now. This is the regular version. Make sure you guys get the regular version because I personally think it's a lot cuter if it's a lot nicer versus the longer version. Up next is Aritzia. And when I went to Aritzia, they were actually having like a 20% off sale for their clientele only. But it's really not that hard to be on their clientele list. It's honestly just... You just give them your email and then you're on it. Went in and they were like, you get 20% off your purchase. And I was like, thank God, because this pair of shorts is so expensive. But this is honestly my favorite brand. It doesn't shrink, it just fits so well on me. And the brand is a Goldie. And this is the Parker short and it fits so well, guys. I cannot wait to wear this. I have three of these, but like different styles. Last but not least is from Evercrombie. And this is something that I have been meaning to buy online. But this is just a white pair of linen pants. I actually have this in a tan one and I love it so much because of the quality. Like it's not thin, it's not see-through at all. It is honestly like the perfect linen pants and I'm just so, so, so excited to wear this. And yeah, that is everything I got from the mall. It was a super short haul, but I'm very excited for everything I got and I cannot wait to bring all of these with me on my trip. <music>
guys. I have a ton of PR packages to unpack. First package is from Liquid ID. Lemon lime, white peach, and then green grape. We have a, oh my god, how freaking cute. Yes, I want to adjust. Bringing him to his first Pilates class. I'm falling to pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. Everyone, I just got back from the grocery store. I went to 99 Ranch and also Trader Joe's. Also, if I sound stuffy right now, I'm getting over a cold, so that is why. I went ahead and got tested because I was kind of worried and there's been a lot of like COVID cases coming back up, so I was kind of worried. So I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and test. And luckily, thank the Lord, I am negative, which is good, but I think it's just because of the season change and I have allergies right now. But Anyway, from 99 Ranch, first thing I got, I got chopsticks because I only have like the wooden one-time use and I have been like using them a lot, especially if I eat my spicy noodles. So I got one that I can reuse over and over and over again. Then, this is what I specifically went for. This is the Bulldog Spicy Noodles. If you guys are on TikTok right now, you know that this... This thing right here is popping right off. I wanted to get the habanero lime because I think that's my favorite flavor, but they didn't have it at 99 Ranch. But, however, I know that they have it at H Mart, but the closest H Mart to me is in K Town, and I'm not really trying to make that drive out there right now. So I just got the original one, and I feel like eating this today or a little later. I also got some enoki mushrooms. These are so good, and I will be putting them or eating them with my noodles. I also picked up some tteokbokki. These are really, really good. They are rice cakes, and if you guys have been to Korean barbecue or honestly like any Korean restaurants, they usually have like a side dish of tteokbokki, and it's really, really yummy, and I don't know why. I just like have been craving it, so I got that. I've never tried this one, but I've seen some TikTokers like use that one, and it looked amazing. And then I picked up a bunch of these like lychee jelly drinks. Um, my favorite flavor is the lychee one and the mango, but I saw that they had like a passion fruit one, which is something new and I've never tried it. It says, wait, did I not get it? Oh, no, 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 right here. This is the passion fruit flavored and it has lychee jellies in it. This is what it looks like. It honestly looks like, like a mango because this is the mango bottle. But this is, but I got two of the mangoes. These are so good. And then two of the lychee ones. And then one of the passion fruit because I haven't tasted it. And I may or may not like it. Let's move on to Trader Joe's. I haven't been there in a minute. So I kind of went a little crazy. Not really. But first things first, I got these little vitamin wellness shots. I have one in the turmeric, which is... Um, Coconut water, turmeric, and lemon juice with black pepper. I have the No Joke Ginger. This one has coconut water, ginger, and lemon juices, and black pepper. I can honestly make this by myself, but I was just there, and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead. And my best friend also gifted me a 
juicer, so I should definitely like make my own actually. I haven't used it yet and she gave me like a little recipe, so I'm strong. Love you. I also got the pineapple probiotic. This is probably like my favorite one. And then the ginger and then the turmeric. And then I picked up this solid white albacore tuna because I really want to make a little tuna salad, but I don't want to make like a huge batch of it. So I feel like this little tin can is like the perfect amount. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got these teeny tiny avocados. I love getting them from Trade Drills because they're literally so tiny. And I feel like, like a normal avocado size is too much for me. Like I can't eat it in one sitting so these are literally so cute like you may not see it but they're teeny tiny they're actually like teeny tiny avocados and i picked up macaroons it has watermelon and peach flavor in it i got two packs of salmon for lunch you guys know me i love my salmon bowls they're so easy to make in the air fryer so i got these and then i picked up this organic garlic non crackers i've never tried this one but i did get like hummus dip and i saw someone on tiktok that was like you need to try it with the chili onion hummus dip from trader joe's so i picked up this one right here i've never tried this which is very very shocking and then I got some hot and sweet jalapenos. So the little combo that I saw online was like this jalapeno right here, this chili dip, like hummus dip. And then they were using like a pita bread chip, but someone in the comments was like, you have to try it with garlic naan. So I went ahead and took their little um, tip. And then I restocked on my onion powder. I feel like the three or four um, seasonings you need in your pantry always 24 7 are garlic powder onion powder salt and pepper and also lemon pepper and then like paprika so how, how many of that how many did i just say like six of them i feel like as long as you have those in your pantry like you can make anything so i restocked on my onion powder and then i saw a new seasoning this is seasoning in a pickle with a bite and tang of dill pickle flavor flavor I need to relax on my seasonings, but I just really like having them. I love trying them out. So, had that. Oh, and then I also got these little um, potatoes for when I don't want to eat rice, but like I need carbs, you know? And I feel like this one will taste really, really good if you cook it in the air fryer or if you just like boil it or whatever. So, I got that. And then I also got my hash browns because it is bulking season, baby, okay? It is bulking season. And I feel like I always eat these a lot, especially during the fall and winter time. You guys, I just got my dream PR from Benoa. And if you guys are not familiar with them, that probably means that you don't live in Hawaii. But Benoa is literally every local girl's favorite bikini. And for them to send me this freaking PR right now is even insane. And I haven't really opened them yet, but I can see the patterns and I'm so excited. They also sent over some pins look at it so cute we have a sunscreen we got these pins it has this hibiscus with the vanilla on it and then we have a bikini one the original one says haleiva but this one says vanilla and it's so cute hello guys good afternoon it is almost 4 p.m and i literally haven't had any food at all today i feel like i've just been so busy that it past me i forgot about it <laughs> so i decided to stop by at starbucks and just get something light because i'm actually having dinner with some of my friends tonight and it'll be super yummy we're going to crab palace in k-town and i'm excited for raw marinated crab i love raw marinated crab can i please have the bacon sausage and egg wrap chocolate croissant Yes. Yeah, the bacon sausage wrap, chocolate croissant. And then one um, grande pink drink, please. And a grande pink drink. Got it. Anything else there? That's it. Alright, see you up there. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. And your pink drink. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Oh my god. I'm stoked for this right now.
Hello guys, I am back from working in a cafe and also from the mall. As you can see, I did a little bit of shopping. First things first, I went to Aritzia and I finally copped the black color of the mega cargo sweatpants that they have because I have the heather gray one and I love it so freaking much. I literally wear it every single time I travel. It is the most comfortable sweatpants I own right now. But I like the ones from Aritzia because it comes with multiple little compartments or like little pockets and the quality just feels a lot better than the brandy one. So I got it in the color black and this is what it looks like. It goes all the way down and you have these different pockets and I like that it comes with a flap so you can like put your wallet in here really briefly if you're at the airport so you can like easily access it but you don't have to worry about it slipping out because this flap right here is kind of sewn in and it goes all the way down and I didn't know that these sweatpants have like short regular and tall version and I got it in a size small petite in the regular size and it honestly fits so well and it makes the bum look really really nice and then to match with the black one i actually don't own any black zip up hoodies so i got one from Maritia and it is so freaking cute this is like a crop little zip up and one thing about me when i travel i need to have some sort of sweater or jacket like i will not sit in the plane with my crop tank top or my sports bra and touch the seat as much as possible so i got this one because i feel like i have a lot of hoodies that are not zip up already that i can match with the black one but i want a black one that is a zip up hoodie and this one is cropped i did get this in a size large because i like the baggy fit and just in case it does shrink in the you know dryer at least i still have a lot of room to play around i got the tna life biker shorts and this is the cheeky three inches one and it's high rise and in the color black if they had these in other colors i probably would have picked them up too because i love wearing these especially to reformer pilates or any heated pilates because they're honestly so comfortable they're super stretchy and they're really 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 nice quality so this is what it looks like and i can match my crop sweater that i showed you guys and i'm just so excited they need to come out with like other colors of this specific one and this is what it looks like the tna life cheeky three inch i got the size medium from lululemon i picked up a black sports bra and this is from the align collection and i don't know about you guys but i love a sports bra that have a v-neck in it i don't know i think it just flatters my body type most or just like in my opinion i actually have this in a black one but i wanted it in a white because i honestly have been running almost every single day and they are my favorite tops to wear when i don't feel like wearing tank tops or getting a crazy tan because it's been so hot here in la and i need something to kind of like even out my little tan for my bikinis so i just got this white one i have this in a black one and it's honestly amazing it's easy breezy cover girl and it matches with a lot of different workout bottoms and then last but not least from brandy melville the first one i have is this super dainty and really really cute like midi dress and i don't know if you guys can tell probably not but it's not a maxi dress because it doesn't go all the way down it goes probably like two inches below my knees and it's just the cutest thing it's 100 percent cotton which is nice and i feel like this is something that i can just wear to the beach to brunch or summer simple and then the last three items are all the same but just like in different patterns and I picked up this pair of pajama shorts and I love this print right now. I feel like everyone's loving this type of print. It's like that coastal grandmother bed sheet, bed sheet print. And I own like two of these already and I love wearing them. They are honestly so freaking cozy and comfortable and I need to get more. So I got it in this white and like nudish pink flower pattern. I got this dark blue or like muted blue stripe one super super cute and then last but not least i just got like this super light matcha green color hello guys good morning and happy 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 
Thursday. I just got to West Hollywood slash Beverly Hills because I got invited to go to the Pretty Little Thing showroom and a showroom is basically just like a little gifting suite. You go in and you have like your own appointment time and then you just kind of browse around the store. The brand will tell you how many items you can pick up for free. So that's what I'm doing today with Pretty Little Thing. It's actually my first time visiting their brick and mortar store in West Hollywood. picked out i have a set a bikini and then a bag i saw a tote bag outside but this one is actually so much more cuter i love it I'm back from my showroom with Pretty Little Thing. They gave me a couple of items. They were like, you are allowed to pick out three outfit items to take. It's like a little gifting suite if I haven't mentioned that. But I wanna do a haul of everything I got. The first one I have is this cute little tote bag and this was actually not on the floor. I saw like a bag crochet tote and it was like a bigger bigger bag but she came out and she's like we actually don't have any stock of the bag that i originally wanted but she came out with this cute one right here and i was like oh my gosh wait no that's cute that's actually a lot cuter and i'm happy that she did because this is so unique it's like a crochet with a little lining on the inside and i just love how cute and small it is and i know i said i love a good big bag but i feel like this is nice for like brunch or date nights i got this brown one right here it's a two-piece set it's tan and it has these ring links on it and it's super nice it's really cute and i cannot wait to wear this because i'm going back to hawaii in literally like two weeks from today so i'm very very excited for that and then of course i had to get the matching bottom the bottom one looks huge though even though it's a size six like i got the top in a us4 this is a us6 last but not least i picked up this set it's a pink one and i thought it was pretty unique because it's like a little halter and i don't know the color the color is giving barbie also i really love my outfit right now so i gotta show you <laughs> my top is from white fox boutique and it's like this gorgeous um lace with like linen not linen but like really soft chiffon material and it's also super stretchy and then i'm wearing my white maxi skirt like this and it's really really cute and i love it and then for my slippers i'm wearing my billabong sandals that i got from paxson when i did a collab with them and then last but not least i got my white fox boutique bag it's not sponsored by white fox boutique i just really love their thingy so yeah i got this one it's actually pretty spacious and i love it i love it you guys i just got this package from coco kine and they partnered up with fresh scents and they sent over this fresh bouquet of flowers and i love that it's all green and this is for their new launch chlorophyll discoloration serum launch and it is just so freaking cute you guys i love getting flowers and it's so cute. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no cape bar. It's an awful house. I want it to get you out. I'm working on a plan right now.
Hey guys, we're back. Look at her hair. Okay, give me your review. Be me? honest, yeah. 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> go follow. Go, go, go follow John. Because he ate it. He, he ate Honestly, it. I was kind of nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, like, has he worked with my type of hair, hair tie? But eight. Goated. Like it. Amazing. Also, shout out to my bestie here because she stayed there and edited photos. So, no. And yeah, we're back from the beach. We got tan. Yes. And we're going home. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.